Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. We are finishing up the AFC Conference Divisional Future Odds Update here at sportsbookreview.com. We've been looking at the NFC and the AFC all week. We're looking now at the AFC South. It could be the worst division in the football. However, not quite sure it's ready to be labeled as a runaway for the favorite this season, as all four teams have a little bit of upside but none of them have a lot of upside. And it's gonna be the biggest question heading into the season as which team will uh, come out of nowhere and perform well enough to compete with the favorites in this division. Of course, the favorites are the Indianapolis Colts who come in at minus 160. And even though they should be, I think, heavier favorites than that, the Colts still have some issues this uh, season. If they're going to compete with the New England Patriots and the Denver Broncos, of which they are the third highest uh, f ranked future odds team this season in the AFC, they're going to have to play some defense. And that is an area that really concerns me this season for the Indianapolis Colts. Their offense should be as prolific as ever. They can run the ball even with Vic Ballard's injury now, Trent Richardson and Ahmad Bradshaw. They still should have a solid running game, but their defense being able to stop the run more specifically is probably going to be the biggest issue for this team. Now, they spent the season offseason, excuse me, beefing up their defensive line, which should really help the run game. However, at minus 160, even though I would not doubt, I would not uh, fault anyone for wanting to take their divisional future odds at this price, not a bad price at all from Bovada Sportsbook. I'm concerned about their longevity here this season and whether or not they'll be able to sustain uh, real life uh, uh, AFC Conference Championship play for the entire season. If they're going to upset some people, they're really going to have to play some defense, and it remains to be seen of whether or not they'll be able to do that this season. Now, the Houston Texans, surprisingly enough, come in at plus 300, second highest team from Bovada to win the AFC South this season. And even though they're pretty adequately priced, this is a team that only won two games last year, and this is a team who also has Ryan Fitzpatrick as his quarterback. Outside of that, they have a pretty good team. Defense should be pretty solid. They should have a really good pass rush. I like their skill players, obviously, if Arian Foster can stay healthy. Um, of course, they have a really couple of great receivers. And DeAndre Hopkins, and of course, Andre Johnson has reported to camp, so his holdout has ended. But one could argue that the uh, move from Matt Schaub to Ryan Fitzpatrick was not only lateral, it could have been a regression. And that's going to be a big tell here this season for the Houston Texans, whether or not Fitzpatrick can lead this offense. Now, he does have more weapons in uh, Houston than he ever had in Buffalo, so that could be a, a big determining factor here. But I'm not sold on the Houston Texans at all to win this division. I don't think they have enough to compete with Indianapolis just yet here in 2014. Now, the Tennessee Titans are probably the most interesting team of this division here at plus 500 from Bovada Sportsbook. They're a team with not a lot of big names, but could play on the big stage this season if all goes well. Jake Locker could have a bounce back season this year after being injured several times over the last few seasons. And even though there's not a lot of name of value on this club, they do have a lot of talent, especially on the offensive end. Kendall Wright and Justin Hunter, two very good young receivers. And of course, Bishop Shanky, Sean Green at the running back position could be a pretty solid tandem depending on what their offensive line situation is this season. So don't sleep on the Tennessee Titans, not betting them to win the AFC South, but I'm also not saying that they're going to be under 500 against the spread this season. They could very easily surprise some people and compete this year uh, in the NFL odds. Now the last place team obviously is the Jacksonville Jaguars, one of the worst teams in the NFL over the last few seasons at plus 1,400 to win the AFC South. And while you're not going to bet the Jaguars to win this division, you might find some value in total betting with Jacksonville this season. Of course, not going to have much of an offense without uh, Justin Blackman. Looks like he's going to be suspended for the entire season. They lost Maurice Jones-Drew, so it's really debatable on what uh, what Toby Gerhardt's going to be able to do for this club offensively. But their defense is probably going to be a pretty good unit, and the under might have some really, really good value for this team this season if you can find the right situations, for instance, with them playing at home or against another very good defensive team. Not going to be able to score a whole lot of points this season, but they also shouldn't give up too many points either, especially if their secondary can hold fast, which was one of their biggest issues last season. If their secondary is fixed, this defense is actually going to be, I think, pretty good this year. But that'll do it for the AFC South. Make sure you check out all my other divisional future odds update here at Sportsbook Review. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.